December 19th, 2017. On this job here, I got a call for a hot water heater that's uh, that's not heating up. I've worked for this guy before. He's got a lot of older equipment there, and the pilot's probably out most likely. But I'm on my way over there today. I got quite a few jobs today lined up. Uh, Gonna sneak a kitchen sink. I gotta fix a um, gas insert, a uh, fireplace type of thing. And uh, I got a couple other no heat calls and stuff. I'm trying to get you some footage if I can. Not always easy. Pretty nice today. It's about 38, so it's about freezing. That's usually the thing I look for. If it's above freezing, it's not gonna be a bad day. You know, if it gets down below freezing, it's, it's cold. It's a 75. I mean, that's a big monster. Yep, it is. And the pilot, you did try lighting, it won't stay on, huh? Well, we'll just change yeah, it. Nothing happened, didn't come out at all. Yeah. We'll change it. With another lawyer, they do Medicaid planning, estate planning, real estate transactions. That's a big thing, Medicare, huh? When, as you get older? Yep. Because if not, they'll take everything, won't they? That's right. Yeah, it's about 15000 bucks a month if you're a private pay patient. So you got to basically get a place in Florida and move to Florida, resident, right? That's the that's the key? No, you got to get things put into an irrevocable trust where your kids can be the trustees. Irrevocable, but that's five years, right? Five year look back, yep. Five yeah. year. If you do that, you can protect almost everything. Well, that's the thing. Everything's got to go in a trust. Yep. But what Congress can do... Okay, they haven't yet? No, but it used to be two years. Then it was 36 months. Now it's five years. <laughs> oh, so they, they keep changing it. So it'll be real simple to make it 10 years. Okay, so they might they might do it. No, whatever's, uh, whatever's already done ain't going to mean nothing then if they change it, right? Well, no, it'll probably be grandfathered if you did something and you had more than five years. But who knows, they can write anything they want. <laughs> Yeah, nobody really thinks about that till you get sick, right? And then once you're sick, it's kind of... And it's too late. Yeah, this is this is a heavy burner here. I mean... At least it's not leaking. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I started burning in there. Oh, you got it sold? Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> yeah, see that's the that's the culprit. That's the thermal couple. See how it's burnt on the yep. end? Yep. That's probably your problem. So we'll change a couple of burnt matches inside there too, so we'll change we'll, we'll change matches. that straight up right away and then we'll try lighting it and see what happens. Okay. I mean, this is a dead bird. Dead bird? Yeah, there. Tweety? Tweety. <laughs> Where was it? In, inside, inside the, inside the thing there, huh? It was um, right down there. Okay. Did you take him out? Yeah, I did. He's pretty dried up. He's been there a little while. He's a little toasty. <laughs> He's like toast. What are we? Get in there and... Well, I'm, I'm a bit older than you, and I found it awfully hard to get that in just to try to light the damn thing. Yeah, well... Oh, I got no batteries in my thing. Any batteries in a flash? I gotta, no, I gotta get my, uh, my light plugged in. Let's plug in my light so I can see what, what's going on here. Where do I plug in? So you sold the place, but they give you a lease. Hey, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, I people mean, live out in Seattle. So. You can't get no better than that, that's man. Right. They're not ready to uh, move back yet. And it costs us uh, $1,500 a month less to pay rent than it did to pay a mortgage. So we're saving some money for Are you going to build a place or what? Um, we're looking, but 
Right now, I haven't been able to find a piece of land to build on. Yeah, it's it's hard. The real estate's really tight right now. Well, all the builders are buying all the stuff up, you know. Yeah, so that thing's just kind of floating in the wind up there. That's all it's doing. Sometimes you're better off just buying something all done, really, you know? Yeah, but we've been looking. My kid's looking for a place. She wants to buy a house. First house type of thing, you know? Where does he mean she she just got married. Nah, man. Okay, I've got a place on Lexington Avenue. It's a nice little starter home. Um, the guy that built it took a real good care of it. It's got a fairly new roof. And I'll get you some information on it. She don't want to start a home. She wants to buy something that's, you know, a nice, nice setup already. So, which I don't blame her. She don't really want to start a home. She wants something that's, that's, you know, move one time. Yep. Yeah, this place is probably going to go for about two fifty. Yeah, but well that's that's what she's talking, you know. It's kind of weird. This thing's just floating in the flipping wind here, but. That's what she said. That's what she wants. She just got married. And she don't want to get a start home and then move again. And, you know. Yep. Well, I don't blame her. What the hell? Yeah, that thing just floating in the flipping wind like that. I mean, that's how it's designed. It's going to make sure we start these without cross threading them because we don't want to cross anything. Yeah, so they got the five-year plan on that stuff. So if you get sick and you try switching your stuff over to your kid, you're probably not going to make it. Yeah, the other possibility is if you had four years after you transferred, you could be a private pay patient for a year and then apply. It's not hopeless, but you're going to spend a lot of money. Yeah, in other words, people people get this and then they go broke. They get sick and then they go broke as they get older. Well, so typically over $200,000 a year a lot of money. 200 grand, huh? Yep. Holy shit. Yeah, it's about 15,000 a month. Yeah, it's not, it's not cheap, huh? Well, we're going to pass the new tax bill today. Well, that's good. And that's going to be a $1.5 trillion deficit. So the next thing they're talking about, seriously, Paul Ryan, Speaker of the House, is talking about... Medicaid reform and Medicare reform. Well, they could better do something because if not, it's going to go broke, right? Uh, yeah, right now, well, right now, Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security take up about 80% of our federal budget. Wow. And then, give me, give me 75% because you get about 15% goes into defense. And well, it's going to be a lot more now. I think they're up in the defense, ain't they? Yeah. But only 10% of our federal budget goes for discretionary programs. All right, we'll try lighting it now. I used my batteries last night for somebody's thermostat, and I forgot to fill them this morning. But I got batteries. No, I got some in the truck. I just got to grab them. It's a matter of time. Yeah, good thing you called me early. I had a little spot here first thing in the morning. People, you know, people are going for breakfast or whatever. And all right, let's see if we can, if we release it, see if it stays on. All right, staying on. Turn it on and we'll turn it up and she'll fire. Yeah. So you can see how that pot was all kind of toast. Yeah. 
So that what that does is that heats up, and if the pilot's on, it will expand. Tell the gas valve, okay, we got a pilot. Now we can release the gas. Now if this pilot goes out, this will shrink up and won't let your house fill up with gas. Because obviously, if you put gas in there and there's no pilot, it's not going to light. So this is a safety device, and they work very well. So they expand, or uh, you know. So what was happening is it, it let loose and it's not expanding anymore and it shut the unit off. It's doing its job. All the matches in the world weren't going to help it. No. So usually when it gets to a point like that, I'll just change them. I don't even play around with trying to test them or anything like that. It ain't worth it, you know? What do you do? You take a video of what you do? I do. Not a bad idea. Just in case I, you know, make sure everything's fine when I leave it. And so it was definitely cooked. Alright, so we got a no thermal couple. Uh, no black soot, I mean. That's it. It's an older unit, but it's still working. That's a 75 gallon. You got a hot tub here? That's a, uh, that's yeah, a flipping monster. Hardly ever use. Alright guys, so this is a thermal couple. This is a shorty. It's shorter than 18. But I, the shortest ones I got in the truck are 18, so you can see they wear out. I just change them when they're bad. I don't even test them. I know it was bad. The guy gave me a tip, gave me 50 bucks. $50 tip for coming out first thing in the morning for them. That's always a good that's always a good customer. The guys the guys that leave tips are good customers. Then he gave me a tip, 50 bucks. I mean, that's a good customer right there. You know, when he calls me, I'm going to jump. Oh, yeah, next level, mama. Next level. Next level. Oh, yeah, next level. You're looking quite stylish there today. stylist here today.